What is good, YouTube? Electro J here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Challenge All Stars Recap Review, Episode Four, or as this episode's titled, "She's Back." So, um, pretty much, for, I just got to the first commercial, and pretty much, um, this has been so far a pretty good episode. Um, um, pretty much, the episode starts off with the challenge cast pretty much getting a day off, them just having fun and stuff. And when we get to the actual challenge, or well, before that, we see we hear Brad saying that he's ninety percent certain that he wants to throw his sabotage at MJ. Um. Because MJ, in the last episode, if you remember, MJ said that he wanted to go up against Cyrus, and we all know how that ended. Um, so, yeah, so Brad feels like he's going to go uh, use the sabotage on MJ. Mark, Darrell, and Nehemiah, they don't think he's going to use the sabotage on MJ. No, sorry, no, sorry. Um, Mark, Darrell, and MJ, they don't think they don't think Brad's going to use the sabotage on MJ, but they're just, they're just waiting to see what happens. Now, come to the challenge, um, basically, well, before we get to challenge, um, so, as, as, as I said in the title, the title's called She's Back, and if you remember in the last episode, both Tina and Jemmy were sent, were, were DQ'd, Tina got sent home because she got injured, and Jemmy sent home, were, got, went home for personal reasons, for family issues, for family problems, so, obviously, they had to bring in someone else, they had to bring in another girl for to just max it out a little bit. And they brought back Beth. Veronica and Tina's worst enemy ever. <laughs> they brought they brought Beth back and and MJ says that like he hasn't seen her in over 15 years. And the last time he saw Beth, uh, she's he saw her was the worst version of her she could ever imagine. So it's gonna be interesting to see how she's gonna cooperate into the house. And to the whole challenge in general. It's going to be interesting. So the challenge. Today's challenge is called High Stakes. Where where all the team. Where all the competitors must divide into teams of three. And they are put. They are on this building that is 150 feet into the air. And they have to walk on this plank. And at the end of the plank. There is this math equation. Um, And the math. The way that the math equation works is that if. If you if you're the first one to get the math equation correct, you are able to drop you're able to drop one person first and then the other person will drop like very like very quickly. And the the person to the two people to complete excuse me, the two people to complete the the the, the equation first will be the winners, they will get the sabotage. Uh the the losers, they'll go straight into elimination. Uh so far so far, at this point, there have been three heats. The first heat was with Derek, Mark, and Yes, and Mark won that heat. Um, the second heat was Sylvia, Kellyanne, and uh, Kayla, and Kayla won that heat, uh, dropping um, uh, Kellyanne first, then Sylvia. And then with the first heat, um, Mark dropped, I believe he dropped Yes, then Derek. Not 100% sure, sir, and I forgot. Uh, the third heat uh, is now Darrell, Darrell, Jordan, and uh, Darrell, Jordan, and MJ. And Darrell is like not really wanting to drop. And oh, I almost forgot. Um, since in the last episode, Brad and Kayla were the winners, they had the opportunity, they had sabotage. In this episode, um, the person who gets sabotage, they will get a one minute penalty, meaning they'll, they'll, they'll add one minute to their time. And pretty much, Brad, as we expected, used the sabotage on MJ, and um, Kayla used her sabotage on Kendall. So yeah, I, I almost forgot about that. Yeah, but the this part of the episode and this the segment of the episode before the commercial, with the before the commercial break comes in, ends with um, Jarrell pretty much saying no, he's not gonna walk on that walk on that plank because if you guys don't know, Jarrell is horrified of heights, which. I can't blame him if if you would if you would be watching this episode right now and see how high that how high that building is and how far they drop, I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't blame him. All right, so after the commercial break ended, um, Jarrell pretty much decided to DQ, so he is automatically going into elimination, and MJ ended up winning his the heat. Um, the next heat. I can't remember off the top of my head who was on it, but I, uh, but I know who were like who's a part of the authority. So I'm just gonna skip. I'm just gonna skip up, up to that. But Beth, she also decided not to get on the beam. So both herself and Darrell are going into the elimination automatically. So and Beth, 
I'm sorry, but you, you were only you, you've been here for literally less than 20 minutes, less than 10 minutes, and you're already going into the arena. <laughs> it's it's sad, but it's sad. But honestly, I have a feeling that Beth has the power to get through the elimination. So we'll see what happens. So the winners, the official winners, were Brad and Kayla. So this is their second win in a row. They will get the sabotage for the next challenge. They will bestow the the sabotage on the next challenge. I would say. And the authority will consist of Brad, Kayla, MJ, Mark, um, John A, Veronica, and uh, and uh, Kayla. I almost forgot the girls' names for a second. So yeah, the six of them, they are the authority now. They will have to vote in one guy and one girl to go into the elimination. Pretty much it could be anyone because there's not really much, not really a lot of people. I won't be surprised if Kayla says they just throw in Kendall or Kellyanne. Really won't be surprised if that happens but we'll see all right so now what has happened now is that now during the authority meeting um um pretty much for guys it's pretty much either wes or jordan i thought uh, mark said that he wants to put jordan in into the elimination he says he pretty much said that they can get wes out later on in the game but the major threat is jordan which i don't blame him because even though Jordan is is disabled, like he has a disability, he is a beast in this game. He is a beast in the challenge. So I will I'm not surprised that they're going for him now. Um for girls, kind of not surprising. Kendall Hi. Kendall or, or Kellyanne. Uh don't really I wouldn't be surprised if they put in what uh Jordan and Kellyanne or Kendall. But yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, so in the end, the elimination is between Jarrell and Jordan and Kendall and Beth. Not Once again, no surprise. Kind of expected Jordan to go in. Kind of expected Kendall to go in. So they're going in. And this challenge, uh, I forgot what it was called. Can't remember off the top of my head again. I uh, My memory can fade away when when it when there's intense moments. But yeah, so ba basically the whole point of the elimination is that the competitors are put inside this barrel thing and... On each side, you need to turn in a respective way. So, so if you're on the right side, you have to, you have to. If you're on the right side, you're going forward. You're you're trying to move forward, and your competitor is moving backwards. Just imagine that. Um, so yeah, so once you cross the finish line, you win. The other person gets sent home. Beth, she, Kendall had it at the beginning. She was right on the verge of winning, but once Beth found her strategy, once she found her footing, that's when she pulled it off and she got the win. She redeemed herself. She redeemed herself, and now she is still up. She's still in the game up for, for that five hundred grand. And then the main event, Jarrell versus Jordan, it ended with the the that elimination lasted almost an hour, and Jordan was literally just shit talking the entire time, which was kind of uh, it was a Jordan thing to do. It wasn't. Excuse me. It wasn't surprising. But but the challenge ends with Jordan winning and Darrell. It seems like something went wrong with his legs because his legs were hurting. The medics put him on a, a gurney to put him in the thing. So hopefully Darrell's good now. Hopefully nothing horrible happened to him. But both him and Kendall were sent home. Jordan and Beth have won their eliminations and they are still in, still in the game. And we'll just see what happens because next week is going to be interesting because there's a meant to be a twist next week. That will be interesting. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Comment down below what did you love about this episode. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Electro J. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.